Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Yes, it's a happy Thursday. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is 9.05 Thursday morning, and we're going to go let everybody eat, and we're going to go let um, Merlin out of his kitty condo now. Yes. I keep him in there when the boys and kitten are eating, and he eats in his... What's going on back here? What's going on? <laughs> he eats in his kitty condo. I keep them separated. Okay, let's open up your kitty condo. You can come out. You can come out now. You can come out now. The door's open. Yes. I wanted to show you guys how great um, everyone's... You want me to open that door too? You want me to get you out myself. You want me to pick you up? Here, come here. <laughs> All right, guys, I had to sit my camera down to get him out of the kitty condo, and then he took off running, so I had to find him. <laughs> I had to find him. Um, so, so I think this will be my last kind of update of how they're getting along, because as of yesterday, Wednesday, I've been letting him kind of be out and about in the house um, without um, keeping an eye on the boys. There they are, <laughs> Milo and Merlin on the back of the couch. Um, and the dogs have been doing great with him. They're getting along. Um, Milo and him play all the time. Um, I've been able to do my thing without having to keep a constant eye. I still have to keep an eye on the kitty because he likes to get in my curtains. He likes to get on my table. He likes to get on my island out here in the kitchen. Um, he jumps on those bar stools there and gets on my island and he gets on this table. So um, I'm trying to train him to stay off tables, stay off of my coffee table. <laughs> yeah, so I still got to keep an eye on him. Um, he's loving these windows too, just like the boys. When they're outside, he watches them constantly. You can't just, no, this is my problem. Yes, this is my problem. The curtains. <laughs> That's my big problem. Yes, it is, isn't it, Marley? That's my big problem is my curtains. Oh, the ones in the front were cheap, which I still don't want him to ruin them, but these curtains right here were more expensive and I will not allow him to mess these curtains up. So, um, I may have to, I clipped his toenails yesterday. I just used some toenail clippers, clipped them. Um, I may have to get some of those little kitty caps, those caps you put on their toenails. Not sure exactly if you just slide them on. Somebody said something about gluing them. I don't know if you glue them. I'm going to have to research those today. Um, <laughs> because I will not put up with him in my curtains out here. No, I don't want you in my curtains out front either, little Merlin. No, I don't. <laughs> He's like, what? Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes, but everybody's been getting along. I've been able to, like I said, I don't know if I said this already, but like cook dinner, clean the house, um, and do things without having to worry about these boys harming Merlin. So in about a week and a half, I got six schnauzers to live cohesively <laughs> with a little, uh, I'm gonna say he's about three and a half months old, almost now. Um, six schnauzers, living pretty good. No, no, can't be on the table. No, no. Someone sent me a, uh, oh, my toast is done. Someone sent me a uh, message about a product that, it, it's a can, and it has like a motion detector, I think, on it. And you can sit it on areas. No kitty. No kitty. <laughs> oh, jeez. Get down. Come on. Get down. Oh. <laughs> um, and if the cat walks by it, it like lets out a sound kind of like the stop that spray, like a, like a can of air, like when you uh, squirt that, the sound that comes out of that. Um, but I, I looked it up on Amazon, and it cost... Oh, I think it was like $35. So if I can't get him to 
stay off my table and off of my island over there. And he does want to get on my kitchen counter too over by the sink. Um, I may have to invest in that um, to train him to stay off those areas. I know there's things you can lay on top too, so I'm going to have to look into um, some different products. I can't get him to stay off or just invest in a cheap one dollar spray bottle i just don't really want water all over the floor and on my table and on the countertops so all right guys i got another package from john um let's go see what they're doing i got another package from john so i wanted to get that out and show you um what he sent me because what he sent me is so beautiful so let me go get that. Actually, let me go get my toast, eat my toast, and then we will be back. All right, guys, here is what John gifted me. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's really eight ornaments, but there's doubles of this one, so I left the other one in the box. But I wanted to share with you these wonderful ornaments. They're from the Danbury Mint, and um, I think they come out with one every year. Um, here's the first one. This is from 2006. Schnells are in a sleigh. They're gorgeous. They are just gorgeous. This one is from 2008. And then this one here is from 2009. And then we have this one here. Schnells are in a stocking. 2010. And this one here, little Schnells are in a wagon. <laughs> They're so adorable. Oops, sorry, I'm a little close here. So adorable. What's that one? That one is 2011. And then 2012 is the schnauzer in this car <laughs> and then 2013 like i said there was double of this one i just left it in the box the schnauzer with the snowman of course all right my phone's ringing i'll be back all right that was my husband wondering what's for dinner when he gets home <laughs> look at these boys over here you guys are such cuties. You got the kitty toy up there, Milo? Yeah. You stole the kitty toy. He always steals his toys. He does not like that kitty having his own toys. No. He doesn't. <laughs> so, I wanted to say thank you again to John. I so appreciate you gifting me these items. Um, they will be proudly displayed on my schnauzer tree every year. They're just, they're so pretty. And I thank you so, so, so much. So, all right, guys, I got to get going. Um, we got some security cameras delivered for the house, and we're trying to get those positioned where we want them. Um, I think I'm going to use one pointed at the boys' crates. I won't be able to point it at Mozzie's because Mozzie's isn't sitting along with the other um, five boys' crates, but... I want one in there pointing at their crates um, so when I'm not home or if we're gone for a couple hours, I can uh, check in, make sure nobody's crying, barking, or anything's wrong. So I think I might put one in there. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we had trouble with one of the cameras trying to get it connected to the Wi-Fi. It was so frustrating. But after we had, well... When I was home alone with my kids when they were younger and we had someone try to break into our home, well, he broke in the back door um, on a Saturday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've always wanted to get cameras, but we were always in rentals, so we just we just never got them. Miggy, Miggy, stop biting your booty. Stop biting your booty. <laughs> um, we just never got them because we were in rentals, which we could have because they just plug in. I mean. We could have had some, but we just never did. But now that we have our own home, I told my husband I want security cameras. No one's getting in this house without me. No one. No. Um, so, getting those all set up. And I'm kind of tired today. I'm really kind of tired today. So, 
I'm going to end the video here. And we will talk to you guys again soon. I hope you're having a great day. Bye. Alright guys, I have a new pre-wash helper. Can you see in there? <laughs> I have a new helper. Milo's in bed. It's 11 o'clock at night. So Merlin is taking over Milo's job. Yes. I need to get him out of there. <laughs> you cannot go all the way into the dishwasher, Merlin. No. You cannot go all the way in there. <laughs> Bad kitty. Thank God I saw him. What if I would have shut that dishwasher and, and turned it on? I'm going to have to keep an eye out now, guys. Yeah, he's a more intense pre-wash than Milo. <laughs>